being said, please help me welcome your athletes for the next bout to the ring. Making his way to the cage is Maradona, a scary looking individual. How's that cage presence? How's that for intimidation? If you're facing that with red hair, hello. With those dance moves, I don't know. That's an intimidating look, my man. It's even more intimidating when the shirt comes off. The guy's in shape. It's a beast. In shape for a welterweight, though. There was a wait uh, question today. A little, little, a little late uh, change today, but uh, we made it happen. Yeah, we've seen him compete before. Uh, hugely aggressive. Uh, favors the art of uh, judo. He loves the takedowns, which he uses as a weapon. Picks you up, slams you on your head. So you can imagine if uh, the guys clinch here, someone's going to go for uh, a high ride. Yeah, his teammate uh, from GBH, but it's one of his cornermen is Boyka. Massively aggressive individual. Well, generally, if you're fighting out of GBH, you're probably going to be reasonably aggressive. It's, uh, it's the camp, it's the, the style. And I love the seriousness of this. For me, this is, this is cool. Yeah, Maradon is amped. I mean, this is his, his fifth contest. He's won all four of the previous ones. Going up against Andile Klamuka yeah, out of uh, Sierkeboni's camp, Muay Thai MMA boys. Also an experienced competitor, eight wins, four losses. But uh, yeah, he's coming up against uh, a very, very focused, very driven Maradona. Yeah, we had to put a uh, very experienced referee in here for this one, just to make sure things are extra safe. MFC Ring Girls this evening, proudly brought to you by Northern Arms and Ammunition. Give them a follow on Facebook. I'm actually quite looking forward to this one, to be honest with you, having seen a Maradona compete before. Be interesting to see how he, uh, how he goes on the stand-up. This bout is scheduled for three three-minute rounds in the MFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner. This athlete weighs in at 70 kgs and holds a record of four wins and zero losses. Fighting out of GBH, Maradona Camembo! His opponent, fighting out of the blue corner. This athlete weighs in at 70 kgs and holds a record of eight wins and four losses. Fighting out of Muay Thai MMA boys, Andile Lamuka. And your referee for this bout will be Pravan Ramkilawan. This is honestly one of those fights that promises to be a cracker. This is too good not to share. So we, we as commentators get info cards. <laughs> <laughs> we're, 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 the guys behind the scenes ask questions about their interests. Maradona works his insecurity. He loves soccer and loves women. Yeah. His interest is women. <laughs> it's, it's, too, it's too good not to share. We, I'm sorry, I just had to say it. Round number one. <laughs> Big swing about Maradona trying to take uh, Dile's head off. Immediately you can see Maradona looking for the takedown. Oh, it's a massive huge. slap. That's There's huge. the hammer fist. There's trouble, yeah. He is so aggressive. Trying to re -guard. He actually 360 guarded himself. Looking to stand up just, look at this aggression, Justin. Straight to scoff. Can he actually maintain this for more than a minute? Yeah, he is in trouble here. Yeah. His armbar temperature. Yeah, he's actually climbing the cage. Can he set up the armbar? Maradona pulling him away, which is clever. Big strikes. Yeah. And they're back on the feet. Wow. And he is awake now. He realizes he's in a fight. This is the... Uh, Quickest way to burn 500 calories in five minutes. And he is wary now. Well, he knows the minute he clinches, he's going for a ride. There we the go. Ride. Another flight again. Oh, he's a bit. There it is. Hip toss. 
A little bit more gentle this time, but there. Yeah, a little bit less energy. Straight to mount. to mount. Terrible position. Ah, he's in trouble, yeah. Turning onto his knees. If he gets flattened out here, this is not going to be a long fight, Justin. Maradona is all over him. He's actually survived that. No, he's in trouble, yeah. Maradona picking his shots now. Not, not a lot of power there. Letting him back up. What do you think about that, Justin? I think he just wants to hurt him. Some big oh, breaths, he's, yeah. he's tired. He is he's tired. tired. Look at those big breaths. Hands are low. Feet are flat. Lamuka calling him in now. He's tired. Yeah, he's tired. Yeah, big breaths. And he needs to stay on the outside, start picking shots. Oh, yeah. I, I, I'd be looking I'd stay, away. I'd stay away from the kicks. I'd, do, I'd, do, I'd box. Yeah. And he has the clinch. But lazy at the start. Nice little inside leg trip. That is beautiful, actually. Judo 101. Straight. To, look at the scarf that's coming. There we go. Nice little cradle. Turn him onto his side. Control the arm. I think he's got a ground game, William. How's that, how's that scarf position? Well, he's, he's, he's got an underhook on the arm, so it's not actually a scarf. Oh, sorry, William. Oh, I know. Judo side. Uh, mount. Ju judo's, yeah, that, that, no, that's a nice position. Oh, that's not mount. actually a mount. It's not completed. No, I'll give it as a mount. Give him four points. Nice. <laughs> He's, a, he's actually out wrestling him at the moment as yeah. well. And he, he's making uh, Lubuka use a lot of energy uh, trying to escape. The only, the only thing I cr critique him on is, is the fact that he's very Ooh. light on. He's, he's not heavy on his hips. No. And he could it's be heavy guard. on his hips. Yeah. And even though these are nine ounce gloves, um, when you hammer fist somebody, there's no protection. There's no protection, so it's basically, yeah, you're. Basically a bare fist. Yeah. That's why you see a lot of the guys favor the hammer fist. It's a very hard strike. We're going to see a second round, yeah? Which I think surprised it, everyone. It does, it was because it was a massive takedown. And I think it's better for Andile. Normally I would say the GBH guys get better as they go along. But Maradona is expending a lot of energy on those oh, that, that, that first 30 seconds, like I said, that, 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 that's your calorie intake for the day. You can do 30 seconds, go home, jump's done. If somebody picked me up and threw me on my head like that, I'd go home straight away. I'd find the ambulance <laughs> immediately for myself. There's actually nothing worse than you go against a high-level ju judo pr practitioner. And, you, you know, one minute you're in a clinch, you've you got a game plan. The next minute, you just see lights above your head and your own toes. Listen, it's happened to me. Triple H, a guy who fought on the last UFC card. He's fighting Seconds out, second round. round. Yep. He Number did that too. Do you remember? I do actually remember. And I was weighing okay. 100 and plenty. And he was like, go hand fight him. And I was like, no, I'll be all right. And then all of a sudden, he swept me. <laughs> And I didn't know what to do. I, I won't lie. Anytime I fight, a, 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 I roll up against a, a judo practitioner and I feel that hip switch. I, I, I won't lie. I'll, I'll sit to God. I, never, I mean, to be honest, I, I'm so heavy. I was like, no, he's going to yeah. throw me. He's not going to get it. Ah. And the room moved. <laughs> Round number two. Ah, there we go. Andile, if Andile is clever now, he's going to start picking him apart because Maradon is tired. Maradon's hands are also quite low. I'd be looking for those uh, hands up. Uh, watch, upstairs. he's going to go low, 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 then he's going to go high. There, there it go. is. Justin, you wrote the book there. Big shot, though. Nice shot. Great shot, and he's dangerous. On what I appreciate by that is he got caught, but he didn't sit back, reset. He shot straight in, and... You can't teach that. That's, no. that's fire inside. Yeah. You. You've already accepted the punishment. You've been hit. You might as well go forward now, and which is exactly what he did. And that is that is as classic GBH as you can get. Looking to pull it that far. Pull the leg, hammer fisting you. And yeah. That, that is Rana Sun 101. And there it is. He's back into side control. Yeah, he's going to look to finish off with those hammer fists. Andile, let me tell you, we all know Maradona's doing well, but Andile is he's he a tough customer. He hasn't stopped moving. He's actually looking to. Yeah. You know, get out of these positions. He's not covering up and just lying there, which is what the ref looks for. I believe it's right. What do they term it? Intelligently defending yourself. Correct. You can take damage, which is it's expected. You're in an MMA fight. You're going to take damage. But are you intelligently defending yourself and preventing further damage? Exactly. Yeah. Are you looking? Are you looking to defend yourself, and are you doing so in a manner that is clever? Yeah. Not just simply moving and putting yourself in a worse position. We've, we've seen a lot of fights where guys will turn their head and they'll get hit in the back of the head and they'll complain that they're getting struck to the back of the head. But they've got to put themselves in that position. 100%. Yeah, you that can't do that. If you turn into a punch, it's your fault. Yeah. Well, has a strong hand up us there. Yeah, yeah. Really saw, he's jumping in, yeah. Uh, he's getting less and less moving. 
can come out the back if he wants. No. No, it's, it, I, I like Maradona's wrestling, to be honest with you. I like the way he's controlling the hips there, Justin. I mean, he's such a raw talent by the looks of it. Yeah, that, that, is, that is a combination of years of judo and uh, sp some time spent with his coach. Yeah. You can see that you can. anybody who's wrestled around his son knows exactly that that's what exactly he's what yeah, he does. Yeah, pick that ankle, control the leg. And it's so oh, strange. those hammer fists are going to finish the fight if he's not careful. Because Ryan sits, takes his weight right off you. Yeah, but he'll hold your ankle so you can't move. 100%. <laughs> oh, that's a big hammer fist. There he grabs the leg again, takes him back down. Almost takes Pavan down at the same time. The referee has it in two knee operations. He might have to have a third. <laughs> <laughs> oh, those are big. Those are big. It's getting tired as the time goes on. I'm talking about Andile now. Ten seconds Look, look how he go. grabs the leg there and the head, and he actually pivots the body. I love that. Crank, there it is. Beautiful control. But it's, it's, it's like we're watching, it's, we're watching a mini, a mini run. No, the technique's exactly, you know, he's obviously doing what he's been shown to do. He's doing it particularly well as well. You Although can he is shattered. He is, look at him, he's very tired. He is, but, uh, you know, his opponent's taken a lot of damage now. He's also very, very tired. As tiring as it is, laying in the, you know, laying on the punishment, accepting punishment and getting hit's pretty tiring as well. And he was on the bottom for most of that fight, so he's he's been carrying a lot of um, Maradona's weight. He's been thrown around a lot. All credit Seconds to his conditioning out. for round number three. Move. I think Adile is going to need a finish here, obviously, to pick up a win in this fight. Yeah, I would. Uh, I two would, rounds I, done. Well, I would go so far as to say two ten eight rounds like done. Possibly, yeah. Yeah, with the new, uh, are they are they utilizing the new uh, scoring system? Yes, we are. Okay. It's February, yeah. Oh, then that would be two ten eight. I'd say, yeah, without a doubt. Interesting rules to read for a lot of those people out there who aren't familiar with the new scoring system. There's a lot of critique on Facebook the whole time about the way fights are scored. If you actually took the time out always, and uh, uh, read always, it, always uh, angled at me. Well, Justin, you know you're such a larger than life figure. Hard to miss me, I know. Yeah, who's the big guy? <laughs> But also, I'm, I'm open, you know. I, for me, I'll engage with anybody intelligently. I don't have to fight with them. I'll listen to anybody. No, look, I, I spend my time studying the rules, and I've yeah. done the courses, and I've spent the time. I mean, I've done probably five or 600 professional fights. You know, or to your credit, Justin, I mean, you and I will argue, or not even argue, we'll, we'll, uh, we've got similar views on a lot of these debates, things. Yeah. We'll debate it, and there have been one or two times where you'll look and go, you know what, you may have a point there, you may not. And other times I'll look and I'll go, you know what, I didn't realize that. That, that is the point. You know, that's the point of a healthy debate. Take your ego out of it and look at the, the way it's scored. While we're talking here, this is a carbon copy of uh, the first two rounds. Maradona on top, landing hammer fists. I mean, if this goes to points, could it be 30-24? I mean, I would give it. If it went to points, I mean, this is a hard one. But again, just enough for the referee not to stop it. He's just yeah. doing enough. Yeah. When the mo there's last DOS coming, Chuck. Is it a DOS or is it just a guillotine? No, it's just a guillotine at the moment. No, there's oh, it, was, it was a DOS. Yeah, so but he, wasn't, he wasn't looking for it. Just to correct you, William. He wasn't looking for it. What do you know what he was looking for? Uh, years of experience, as you said, Justin. <laughs> I'll put my uh, 500 matches up against your 500 matches. <laughs> And the fact that he's gone for zero submissions in any of his fights. I'm with you on that. <laughs> he's pillared the leg and he's hammer fisted. Yeah, this is gone. a balling. What about ball? But he's still intelligently defending himself. Yeah. He's still trying to get up. You know, if Maradona put 20% extra into those punches, I don't know okay. if he's got the 20%. This but if is he did. the second time in this tournament that they threw the ref out. It is no longer a foul. So you cannot throw the towel in anymore. Yeah, that's actually uh, an, an interesting... It uh, always happens with Pepin. I, I actually did not... Ooh. Ooh. Only problem with that, uh, Jopsinagi, is you actually can get your back taken. Oh, he's on a... Oh! Oh! oh. oh. And he's, and he's caught oh. it through the towel. Oh, oh, and they're on a knee slugging. 
Now his corner screaming, what a turnaround there, Justin. Almost uh, a huge upset. Our back Pavani is one of our most experienced refs for a reason. Because he likes to see a good fight. <laughs> There's nothing happening. Is that a submission attempt? I can't see. Not at all. Andina is fighting back. Wow. He was about 30 seconds ago. Now he's just holding on. He almost won that fight. He almost got a knockout. That's a combination of a punch landing and Maradona just being very tired though. So just to clarify the rules here. They've removed throwing the towel as a foul. So it is no longer how do you... It's the referee's discretion. The, the referee can make the final decision. Not even a doctor, a doctor can advise, but he cannot make the decision. The referee makes the decision. If the fighter chooses to submit, no problem. But they cannot, they can no longer throw the towel and that is removed. The corner can no longer throw the towel. And it is the second time in the same tournament that this has happened and it's happened to the same referee. And I'm grateful, he's a very, very good referee. Well, I mean, about 10 seconds after his corner through the towel and he almost knocked out Maradona. So, I mean, that just goes to show you, he was still in the fight for that, saw that. But, um, yeah, look, he, he wasn't taking huge amounts of damage, he was just being controlled. He was taking he was taking damage, yes, but not um, huge amounts to the point where. So if we it was for it, let's let's give it a number. So let's call six the magic number. He was taking five and then doing something. Yeah. So it resets. Yeah, yeah. Your winner in unanimous judges' decision in a full three rounds, Maradona Camembo. Once again, we'd like to thank Northern Arms and Ammunition for proudly sponsoring our MFC Ring Girls. They must all come. And he's making himself ready for EFC. And then he said that he's still getting to know uh, the MMA, the ground and pound. He could have finished the fight on the first round. But he's saying that he's going to be here again. Congratulations. Congratulations. 